Hello. Um, I put the phone on mute so I don't accidentally get disturbed, and then um, it doesn't make noises when you do that. So it should be recording. I've done it on mute before. But anyway, hello. How are you? I am slightly gassy. Uh, so unboxing. Obviously, you saw the thumbnail. But before we do that, I kind of want to show you something. Well, first of all, we need the poo pajamas. I bought these the other day from Tesco and they're adorable and cute and thing. But more importantly, the jacket, you may have noticed, is quite a distinct style. So, flash back to my youth in the 80s uh, when, um, believe it or not, America used to be cool. America used to be cool, it used to be the place to be. And um, for me, I always thought that varsity jackets were really cool, like the ultimate in American court. Couldn't tell you why. Maybe it's like the whole high school thing, I don't know. But I never really had one, partly because I'm not, not a high schooler, but also I never found like one with a design or logo on it that I liked, that, that really spoke to me. I mean, I've seen a few cool designs, but not ones that felt like me. Until um, until Zappy had uh, a particular sale on for a particular movie franchise that I absolutely adore, because it was their anniversary. So um, I have a Back to the Future Bar City jacket. How cool is this? Oh, ah. So it's, yeah, sort of, oh, trousers to my pyjamas. So yeah, it's a um, button stud, got the pockets, proper pockets, and I love it. It's actually a pretty good price for, I think it's about 35, um, 38 pounds. I got a t-shirt and a, a mug as well. Um, but yeah, it's actually really good quality, quite thick. It's like a, it's like a sweater material. So, yeah, speaking of sweats, I'm going to take it off because I'm actually quite warm at the moment. Which is weak, I'm a bit cold, but yes. So, just wanted to share that. Just want to share the awesomeness that is, it, yeah, nothing on the back. Um, the awesomeness is my new jacket, so I hope you enjoy that. I'll uh, leave it there so it's in view. Sorry. This is my Sherlock and Modest. There we go, everyone's in the camera. <sighs> So yeah. Also, um, just whilst I have you here, don't forget that I do have a still a not so secret secret project that is forthcoming soon. I have stuff for it. So um, yeah, I've mentioned it once before. I'm mentioning it again, and it it is now imminent. So yay. Also, I guess I say hey, you, thanks for watching. If you like me, this if you like this face. Um, thank you for being here, and there are buttons and stuff to do because you're supposed to do that in the intro ramble. Because I have never been good at the intro ramble. Oh, uh, Christopher Black, Beck. I know I have a new subscriber by the name of Christopher. He, he came with my um my glowy video of my candles. Um, so thank you. And I noticed that I've actually got 110 subscribers now. So if you're not someone who you know, has a flash up that says, oh, this person subscribed to you, but you've recently subscribed. Hello, welcome. Um, tell your friends and, and other people. So yes, now all that rambly stuff out of the way, we have the wizardly box. And uh, this one is the Christmas box because obviously late November gets there in time for Christmas. Beyond that, I've tried to avoid all spoilers if I can. So yeah, let's just let's just get on in into it. Ooh, sorry, the t-shirt looks really cool. All right, so let's let's ooh, cute the box. There's a box in it and it has a very cute design on it. So starting off, um, I guess you could call it Christmas in Hogsmeade, but I think it's you know just as easy just a winter scene, which I like. Um, so definitely Hogsmeade. Or root of, yeah, it's not distinctly. Yeah, it's it is hogs me because you've got the hog's head, um, here. It's not distinctly, overtly Christmas. It's quite a nice sun sunset. You I mean you've got? I mean I know it's Hedwig or just another owl, but they've got a scroll so that could be seasons greetings. But I like the fact that it is more of a wintry scene than overtly Christmassy because that means you can wear it for like the whole cold season rather than just you know a week in December so I like that I like the design I like the fact it's a bit more broad than just Christmas so yes uh we have lots of blue worm dudes uh we shall oh 
So we have a little Christmas tree uh, with the same nonsense Latin on the sides. I did actually translate it once, it's very bizarre. <coughs> it, it doesn't actually mean anything, it's just a whole string of words that, oh, looks like you put it together. Oh, 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 well, hang on. Oh, this is adorable. Um, I don't, I don't have a tree up at the moment. I don't know if we're putting a tree up this year. It feels quite heavy, but it's um, a Veritaserum tree ornament. That is so cute. I may, because what I have done, I actually have a couple of, um, actually a Doctor Who tree ornament. It's supposed to be a tree ornament. Um, it's the um, Tenth Doctor and, and his sonic screwdriver. And it's, um, yeah, it's it's just it's just pinned up onto my thing. So I might just hang it up somewhere, just gently, maybe in, in the cabinets. I'll find somewhere, because it feels like it could easily break. I don't know what I smelled it for. So, Veritas Serum. I can't read. It's in sync curly script and I have trouble reading it. Hang on a second. Um, told only by, oh, sold only by Rubius, Winkius, and Company Inc. Ah, so that's how you know it's a genuine, um, Veritas Serum bauble. It's, it's by these people. Um, yeah, no, that's adorable. I like that. <coughs> I'm going to actually pop that onto its bubble wrap so it doesn't roll away. All right, so far, I'm liking it. More worm dude. Ooh, that. I'm going to save that one. Uh, we have another box. Oh! Is that extending ears? Is that? That is! Oh, that's... Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't know if um, cute or creepy, because extending it is in concept always quite weird, and then the way they did them in the film. Um, all right, I suppose I'll have to do it. Just make sure I get them right in the right way. What do you think? <laughs> See, they look tiny. They like make me give me smaller ears. So I don't think it really works as a, um, I'm not sure if decoration or there's a novelty, um, again, they feel like, like a type of porcelain or something. Um, the string's got a bit of stretchy, but I'm not going to over stretchy it. Um, the backs, yeah, it does feel like a porcelain or something. Uh, the backs have got like a spirally design on them, which... Uh, not exactly what you find, but there, there is a spirally bit in your ear. Um, so that's quite a nice detail. <sighs> These I'm going to put on the... I get it, but they're still a bit weird. Kind of think you're supposed to like have one there and then the other one goes... <sighs> I'm not sure what I think about these, except that they are well made. Um, and are, are fun. So, different. I get them. That's, um, we'll put that in the interesting pile. <laughs> Alrighty then. Oh, so, as per, yeah, okay. So, as usual, um, Geek Gear always do Christmas cards, um, both for their wizardry and for their classic boxes. So this year we have, happiness can be found uh, even in the darkest of times, one only remembers to turn on the Christmas lights. So, paraphrasing Dumbledore's famous quote there. Um, blank inside. I like this design actually. It's quite, quite nice without being overly busy. So that's that. And they do come with um, matching envelopes, which is which is a nice touch. Excuse me. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Okay, um, we just have Crookshanks. And the mirror of error said, and a, and a Christmassy scene. So, is that what is that Crookshanks' heart's desire? Is it is it Crookshanks or Mrs. Norris? Because Mrs. Norris is usually done more grey, whereas Crookshanks is more ginger. Um. See, maybe 
I'm going to stick with Crookshanks because of the description, because of where the cat looks in there. But it kind of in a weird way makes more sense if it was Mrs. Norris's heart's desire. Because, you know. But then again, you know, Filch loves her. You know, she she does get attention. I'm sure they I, I'm sure they do something nice for Christmas. So we'll go with Crookshanks. Um, feel free to add your thoughts or comments on which cat you think it is. Um, all right, we're going to grab this because it's... I can't grab anything else with it there. It's it's a it's a squidgy thing. I'm thinking hat. Yes, I think it might be like a Santa hat because it's got a floppy bit there. So let me just find the opening so I can wrap it as little as possible. And oh, it's a stocking. Oh, okay, it's a stocking which is the fluffy bit and it's um each of the houses so yeah the blue and <clears throat> silver should be bronze um hufflepuff obviously slytherin and gryffindor at the top so yay um not a housey housey item but it's it's nice i've actually got enough i have a few stockings actually i've been collecting from these geeky rocks i'm never sure what to do with them because everything else is like oh i can find somewhere to display this wait put this somewhere and if it was a hat or something I'd at least you know have occasion to wear it at least once stockings i'm never sure what to do with but it is fun i like the design i like this patch it's very cute um even though the color's wrong <clears throat> but yes so like it just okay uh this is I think that's a cheat sheet, so we'll look at that probably in a minute. Uh, we have... Oh! Okay, we've got the charm, which is tiny. Tiny charm, this is the... Um, the broom. This has got to be one of the tiniest charms, even compared to like the, the feather in that. It seems tiny. Sorry, headphone users. Let's do rattling. Come on, out you come. That seems right. Uh, this my camera's not gonna pick up on this. Uh, yeah, it's it's a broom. Uh, hang on, this. Is that helping? Is that helping at all? Yeah, tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little broom. I d I, that's very cute. I like it. I'm adding them all to my charm bracelet. I do have my charm bracelet. It's over there. I've I've done something to it because it was a bit too loose. I'll show you it at the end of the year when it's all done. Uh, we then have our scratch card, and we have. Come on out, you. Oh. oh wow. Okay, so the art print is the egg from the great uh, from the tasks. Um. Pro Wizard Cup task, um, but inside it is uh, the scene of Harry, um, you know, with his fins and yeah. So sorry, I was like, wait, is that like something? No, I just had a close look. In the background, it is um, Ron Hermione, Fleur's Gabrielle, and is it Cho Chang in in the bottom there? like you know waiting to be rescued so yeah that's really cool i like the colors on it sorry i'm trying not to get the reflection on it i do like the color scheme it's very really cool so there we go and i think check on me worm dudes i think that is everything looks like it let me just check the piece of paper ba -ba -ba. november 2020 yep hello there magical creatures you magical creatures a massive thank you to all of us from, from, from all of us here at Geek Gear for purchasing the Geek Gear Wizardry Box. It is our hope that these items we have designed and carefully patched in this box this month bring joy and magic to your door. <coughs> thank you for being part of our ever-growing family. We hope you love the items as much as we love you. Aww. Uh Exclusive Wizarding Winter Wonderland t-shirt. Yes. So, yep, yeah, Winter, Winter Wonderland. Nice and exclusive. Exclusive. Try Wizard Challenge egg print. Uh, seasonal greetings cards times two. Exclusive Christmas tree potion bauble. Potion bauble. Does that mean that there's other potions out there? Susie, I haven't watched your video. Did you get a different potion? That's interesting. Um, exclusive wizardry uniforms Christmas stocking. 
exclusive eavesdropping ears replica and the wizard <coughs> exclusive uh, wizardry charm wizardry broom so yep we've got everything and there's stuff on the back actually it feels like thicker paper because on the back there is stuff so psychic services what do the fakes have in store for you book today for a reading will use your inner eye to see the future um lost toad found if you have lost a toad please contact 01967 1746 that is not a british number british numbers tend to have six digits in them after the postcode after the, the re code, unless it's a, a number for scotland no it'd be hogwarts or someone it doesn't need six digits Love Potion. Unlucky in love? Find your own love with our incredibly powerful love potion. Warning, may induce obsessive behaviours. <coughs> Werewolf? Werewolf. But not for much longer. With our pen painted in Wolfsbane potion, your lycanthropy is but a minor inconvenience to tight-fitting clothes for all of five seconds until it kicks in. Minty fresh aftertaste, too. Uh, oh, and then there's a, um, a subscription advert, like, you know, like you get with you know, magazines, books and stuff. Um, yes, I want to subscribe to Geek Gear. Subscribe request form, block capitals only, please. Name, um, address, one week, 42 weeks, 52 weeks. Checks for postal orders to be made payable to Geek Gear, return this form <laughs> and your payment. That is cute. That is, I mean, the whole thing is cute. Uh, five galleons? Five galleons for this? Oh, should be a couple of nuts, surely. Maybe a sickle, but not five galleons for the paper. Oh, this is five galleons for geek gear. That's, yeah, maybe. But yeah, so this is this is a cute little um, extra jokey page. Um, I like this geek gear. Um, if this is gonna be a regular feature, then I hope you're gonna mix it up and have lots of like different joke adverts because that'll be a cool collection. I'd, I'd be interested to see that. Um, so yeah, there's there's the items. Um, I do like the charm. But the charm's kind of always a gimme, so I'm going to go with my favourite being probably the bauble or the t-shirt. The bauble because I like the creativity of it and it's kind of a little bit different. Um, the t-shirt, like I said, I like the fact it is wintry but not explicitly Christmas. So that makes it a bit more universal. Um, no win, better luck next time. The ears are just weird. <laughs> they're cute, they're funny, well made weird the card the stockings I like the print is gorgeous yeah I'm going to go with the potion bottle um, just because it is you know, it's something a bit different, it's a bit fun it's practical as well, if I had a tree up, I would it would be the only wizardry world item on it, but you know also my, my Christmas tree is black and I usually put um, so excuse me silver and gold so that would just be a nice little pop of color on the black background <clears throat> if i would have put the tree out which again i don't think we're gonna do this year but yes uh that is everything feel free to any thoughts ideas questions stuff hellos um that you have um please feel free to put them down the bottom um we you know feel free to click on buttons on the way down um especially if it's subscribed or bell shaped that'd be awesome um otherwise definitely get into ramble territory look out for the project next month that'll be coming like i said very soon and uh yeah be safe everyone have a good one. i'll probably see you in a couple of days when the classic box arrived if you do watch the class i think i've asked you before if you watch both wizardry and classic um feel free to let me know because I'm not sure if it's like the same audience spread over them or like different people while you watch one or the other. <clears throat> Always been curious about that and I need to remember to ask that in the classic box as well. So yes, if you have been, thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening and I will see you next time. Bye!